Hi everybody, it's Katie, back with another episode of my vlog, and today I have a very special giggling guest with me. It's Jimmy! How's it going, everybody? How's it going? It's going coronavirus. How's it going with you? Pretty good. I mean, I'm kind of sad that we can't go to trackers for like the next eight weeks, according to the government. Well, we don't know how many weeks it's going to be. Somewhere between two and ten, maybe? Uh, but that's life in the coronavirus, right? Yeah. Things are uncertain. It's a little bit like life in the stroke dimension, right? It's it's weird times. A lot of things are changing um, from what we expect them to be. A lot of things are changing really quickly from what we expect them to be. Um, and people are having to be flexible and make adjustments to their lives. And um, it sucks, but it's also okay. Um, I feel like I actually got a jump start on everybody by being a member of the stroke dimension where um, this whole feeling of the rug getting pulled out under me and everything being up in the air and not knowing what's going on, um, it's very similar to the coronavirus uh, feeling. Uh, there's a lot of kind of overlap between those two things, but um, I'm feeling confident that if we all work together and do this social distancing thing to hopefully slow this down, um, you know, we can, Make, make a dent in it, maybe, and not have such a horrible pandemic uh, that they've been predicting. But, uh, you know, it's important to stay calm, to not get yourself too panicked out about stuff. Um, a lot of the lessons of the stroke dimension uh, really work well here, like I said in a previous vlog. Um, lesson number one, you're not in control of the situation. Um, and you should stop thinking you are, but you can be in control of your own actions inside of the situation, right? right. And we can do our best to do all the stuff we're supposed to be doing there um, and to take care of each other and everyone around us who needs a little extra uh, TLC right now because I think everyone is on edge right now about what's going on. Um, so we've got some, uh, some, some good, some bad, some interesting announcements to make. Um, First of all, even though now that this coronavirus situation is happening, it's um, maybe kind of terrible timing, we are going to roll forward with our Kickstarter for Dungeon Breakout. Um, starting next week, we are still planning on launching on Tuesday, March 24th. Um, I know that everyone is um, filling the squeeze a little bit financially here, um, but I'm hoping that everyone uh, still wants to come in and back this project. We very much want to make the project happen. We want to make it happen on the original timeline if we can, which is why it's important for us to run the Kickstarter now. Um, and I'm going to be real with you guys. Another reason it's important for us to run the Kickstarter now is we're a small business that's hurting financially in this coronavirus situation. And so if we can have a successful Kickstarter, um, you know, that, that'll keep us um, going at least partially uh, during this weird time. So um, a few more notes about the Kickstarter next week that we're super excited about. Um, I don't know if you guys have been following the um, Dungeon Degenerates Instagram, but Sean has been posting teaser images of the new minis that are going to be available in this campaign. Uh, the sculpts by Jason Fairclaw, our sculptor, and they are incredible. He posted um, the Sex Dwarf the other day, and if you haven't checked that out, please go look. I will put a comment down below, of course. Um, it, it looks so cool, and I'm so excited to get my hands on these minis. Um, the other exciting thing we have that we've talked about leading up to this is our stretch goal campaign, which includes new never before seen monsters that we're going to add in to Dungeon Breakout if we can um, get high enough on our campaign funding. And if we get even higher, we're then going to make those brand new monsters that we're putting into Dungeon Breakout into playable monsters for Dungeon Degenerates Hand of Doom, which is awesome and it's what everyone's been asking for is additional playable content for Hand of Doom. Um, so we're super excited about that um, and one of the other things we're super excited about that I think I mentioned last time is we're going to let you guys pick who the eight adventurers are that are available in Dungeon Breakout, which is pretty fun. We're going to make a little voting poll on the Kickstarter. It's actually not going to be there on day one. And what we're going to do is add that poll in um, once we reach our base funding goal. And then you guys can start putting in your votes for which adventurers you would want to see um, in the Dungeon Breakout game, which is super exciting. And we're also doing a social stretch goal where we're going to have a specific Facebook post that we want people to share. And if we can get to 666 shares on that post, then we're going to add 
five brand new, never before seen loot items into Dungeon Breakout, which is super exciting also. So um, I hope everyone is still on board to come on in next week. Uh, Tuesday, March 24th is our launch date. Um, let's have a great Kickstarter, right? So that's that's the really good news. Um, now for the kind of sad news, um, we haven't been getting a lot of orders in our online shop. And as a result, our income is super down right now. And I don't think we're gonna see a lot of orders in the immediate future. Um, and in addition to that, um, some of our employees ride public transportation to get here to work. And we are not feeling safe about that anymore, um, given the current situation. And um, we really want to prioritize the health and safety of everyone here, not just our family, but also our employees who come to work for us. Um, so we've made the uh, very difficult decision that a lot of businesses have made in the last couple of days. Um, we're going to be temporarily closing down our shop operation um, in a couple of days here. Hopefully we won't be closed for too long, but basically we need to also just hunker down and kind of weather this coronavirus storm. Um, so what we're going to be doing is um, the, the shop, when I say the shop, I mean goblincomegamall.com, our website where you can buy our stuff. Um, it's going to remain open and you can place orders whenever you want to, but after Wednesday, we don't know if we're going to be able to fill your orders because we're going to be extremely short staffed. It's just going to be me. So we're basically not going to be fulfilling orders unless we get a ton of them, then I can bring someone back in to help us do that. Um, but it's looking like what we're going to be doing is shutting down our mail order operation, um, hopefully only for two, three weeks. But again, we don't know how long this is going to be going on. Um, so tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, the 18th is going to be the last day to order, um, to make sure that you get your stuff shipped out before we go into this, um, I guess we want to call it hibernation, right? Um, and again, hopefully our hibernation period doesn't last that long, but we just want to make sure that we're doing our part to keep everyone safe, shutting down our workplace, not having our employees have to commute on public transportation, all of that stuff, right? Um, so that sucks and it's kind of scary for us because as a small business that relies on sales income, um, we're going to be really, 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 you know, living on a skinny budget for the next little bit. But um, I'm, I'm confident that we can do it and, um, you know, make this work moving forward. And of course, if you want to help support us while our shop is shut down, um, backing the Kickstarter is a great way to do that. So that's where we're focusing our energy right now. Um, we think it's a really great campaign and we are excited to be able to deliver this game to you guys um, at the end of this year or beginning of next year if we can get that Kickstarter funded. So um, that's the, that's the uh, business news. But in fun news, um, we had a fan yesterday actually suggest that we bring back Monster Drawing Club during this uh, quarantine lockdown time when everyone is hanging out inside without much to do. So you want to tell them a little bit about that? You can go check it out on the Dungeon Degenerates Instagram every week. We'll put a link down below so you mm -hmm. guys know where to find that. Yep. What's the monster for today? Goblin. <gasps> and I have drawn one, which is... He is like popping up out of a hole. There, me, and we'll put it where people can see it. He has a blow dart and he's shot down this little flightless bird and the bird, he's gonna use it for food. Nice, that's a very cool drawing. So are you gonna be doing a drawing every day for Monster Drawing Club? Yep. And can we post yours on the Instagram also? Yeah. Awesome, and I know that Sean is gonna be participating in Monster Drawing Club for his daily drawing that he does as therapy, he's gonna be drawing along. I saw the goblin he drew today, it's pretty cool. Um, again, if you go to Instagram and find the Dungeon Degenerates Instagram, that's where you're gonna find all the information about Monster Drawing Club. So I hope you guys will join us. Um, it's really fun to draw along with friends and see what everyone else is doing on the same theme. And it's just a great way for everyone to get together uh, virtually, right, while we can't get together in person. Um, another thing that we're doing um, during this quarantine is we've been working on the Cinema Club watch list, which is a list of all the movies we recommend that you guys watch. We are tightening it up right now and we're hoping to have that up tomorrow. So that should be a great resource for people that are stuck at home and bored and don't know what to do with themselves. We've got a lot of great movies to recommend, right? Right. 
All right. Um, and one last thing before we sign off for this vlog, I just wanted to share a, um, a grounding technique with you guys. I've noticed a lot of people are walking around with their anxiety just through the roof about this coronavirus situation. And I learned this technique um, here in the stroke dimension, but it applies in the coronavirus or anywhere else that you might be experiencing a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of mm, out of control, negative feelings. Um, so it has two parts. The first part is to do a deep breathing technique where you breathe a, a very deep breath in through your, up oh, in through your nose, out through your mouth. The exhale is more important than the inhale. You want to concentrate on using the muscles from your diaphragm to push all of the carbon dioxide out of your lungs. And once you've done your three big, good, deep breaths and gotten rid of all that excess carbon dioxide, you then bring yourself into the present by grounding yourself, by using your senses. And I like to do this by looking around and seeing five things I can see, four things I can hear, three things I can touch, two things I can smell, and one thing I can taste. What can you taste? Tongue. <laughs> the inside of your mouth, right? And once you've done that, you should be grounded and a little bit more calm and just present. And it's important to be present because so much of our anxiety comes from worrying about the future. And again, the future is out of your control and you need to just be calm and patient and sort of let the river of what's happening flow by you. Be the water. Don't, don't try to be the dam stopping the river, right? And uh, stay calm. Use your breathing techniques. Hang out with your loved ones. Well, the ones who you already share cooties with, so you're not going to give them coronavirus. We're sharing a drink. We are sharing a drink. It's true. We share a lot of germs around here. Um, so that's it. I hope you guys all stay safe. Take care of each other. Wash your hands, of course. Don't go out in public unless absolutely necessary. Let's beat this thing together, but let's also try to stay calm. Try to not get too freaked out. Try to be good to each other because we're all in this together, right? Right. Awesome. All right. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in a couple more days for another episode. Until then, have a great day.